Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving. It's 2019, a very, very happy new year to you all. Um, this is the first shave for me. I've been kind of busy with stuff and the Christmas and New Year celebrations, so I've not had time to film a shave. I still have been shaving, obviously. If I hadn't been, I'd have a big scruffy beard. Um, but I have been shaving, so, but this is the first shave on camera, so. Happy New Year to you all. I wish you health and prosperity for this year. Uh, I hope it's filled with happiness too. And lots of great shades, of course. Okay, uh, I'm looking forward to this shade because there's some new things I haven't tried before. Um, well, one thing in particular. But first of all, I'm going to start with a pre-shave uh, today. So I'm going with the New Age Men Shaving Oil. Just a pre-shave, this is a, you can pick this up for a one pound. I think Superdrug's carrying it now in, in the UK, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pumps. Let me see how much is in there. Just warm it through the hands. Has a nice lavender scent to it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, just before I started the shave, I noticed I had some uh, like dry skin kind of around about here, so. I'll use an oil just to get some moisture in my skin too. Uh, because the weather here has been quite windy. So you need all the protection for your skin. Yeah, just rubbing this into the whiskers. Some people don't believe in pre-shave oils. Some people do believe in pre-shave oils. I'm kind of on the fence. I like to use them. It's uh, it's part of the shave for me sometimes, but when I do use them, I enjoy them. Okay, uh, as I've been away and not filmed the shave, this is going to be a long video. So anyone that complains about long videos, I don't know, you can leave now. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me show you the brush. I was contacted by Frank, Frank Shaving in China and they said, can we send you a brush to review? So here it is. Uh, there's the logo there, FS. Beautiful handle. Uh, I think this is full horn. There wasn't any info in the package when I got it, but it's really nice. It's a badger brush. Uh, I've just washed it out with some hand soap, just lathered it in my hand, just uh, get rid of it. There is a little bit of smell to it still, like a wet, not really strong. I think it'll go in a couple of shades, but uh, I've had it soaking. And look at the tips on that. You can see they're almost like gel tips. Uh, yeah, just had the soaking for five or 10 minutes, but it's a nice brush. I, I, I really like the size of this. It's not too big a knot. Sometimes with badger knots, when you soak them, they just, the bloom on them. Uh, it's just too big, but this looks nice. I think it's a 24 mil. Again, I'm not sure what the knot is. It might be silver tip. It looks like it because it's very soft and there's a lot of bristles in there. So, but very nice brush. Yeah, I'll put the links to everything um, in the description for everything I use in today's shave. The soap is Phoenix and Bow Imperial Rum Shaving Soap. This is Bay spice and lime and you might see some writing down here uh, this is the number one tub uh, when was this given to me 20th of march 2017 uh, this is the first tub that came out uh, i won this in a, a competition and you can see the can you see the octopus on there kind of just catching the light very nice of labels phoenix and bow's labels are beautiful uh, designed by Sarah, Sarah Burrows, Kerry's. Kerry Burrows is the main man there. And Sarah does all the labels, yeah, very nice. Bay, Spice and Lime. And as you can see, quite a nautical uh, label. Has a little anchor here, a little compass there. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I'll show you guys the ingredients that want to see them. There you go. Uh, and I'll open the soap up, and there's the soap there. It's uh, quite a firm soap. I can push my finger into it. Nice scent. It's not a, your traditional bay rum. It has a little bit of that, but 
Yeah, you can smell the lime as well coming through. Very nice. I like it. Okay, the razor I'm going to use, this is a, a new razor. I've used it once, uh, but I'm going to use it again today. I was uh, contacted by uh, a friend on Instagram uh, called Stephen, uh, and Stephen said, I have this razor, I'm not getting along with it, would you like to try it? Uh, just with different blades and stuff and see if you could give me any tips. Stephen lives quite locally to me, so we met up at the groom room. A good excuse to go down there and browse stuff. Um, yeah, I met up with Steve and his wife, Linda, and we went down and had a chat and he gave me this razor to try. So I'm going to try it for a few shaves and then I'll have a chat with him about the blades and stuff I've used and how I've gone with it. Yeah, shut up Kevin, just show us the razor. Okay, <laughs> it's uh, this. This is the Fine Marvel Razor. Uh, you can see the Fine logo on the bottom. Fine accoutrements, the F. Yeah, this is a three-piece razor. Um, good weight to it. It weighs 3.3 ounces or 93 grams. Oh, better not drop it. <laughs> uh, the length is 87 millimeters or 3.5 inches and it's a 0.95 blade gap. Uh, I'll put a blade in it in a minute, but it has these very robust uh, safety bars. And w what do you think that looks like when I hold it like that? I think that looks like a Stormtrooper helmet from Star Wars. <laughs> Is that just me then? Okay, <laughs> that's the razor. Yeah, it has um, knurling on it. It's not brilliant. It's okay. It's got a good weight to it. Um, but we'll give it a go. Three piece comes apart like that and like that and there you can see. Okay, uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a brand new feather blade. Um, and I was entered into a competition, I wasn't entered, I entered into a competition on Instagram for a hundred feather blades. Uh, and that was from Wet Shave Supply, uh, and I won 100 feather blades. So thank you very much to Jake and Andrew. Uh, I will put the link to their store, and you can go and check them out. They do great blades. Uh, I think they're actually stocking Barrister Man soap now as well. So you can go and check them out. There's the blade. Feather. Uh, just put that bomb cap on, and then we'll screw the handle back on. Yet the blade gap on this razor is 0.95, so quite a big blade gap. As you can see there, a Stormtrooper. Yeah, the gap looks quite big. So we'll see how we get on with that. Okay, let's get this brush. Give it a squeeze, a little flick, and we'll go right to the soap. So how have your shades been going so far in 2019? I'll just dip the tips again and just... Yeah. Uh, Phoenix and Bo are quite thirsty soaps, so they can take a lot of water. I'm not sure about the uh, how this brush is going to perform, so I'll try and load it heavy. Just to make sure I've got enough soap, but we can always go back to the soap. So what are your shaving New Year resolutions? Mine is not to buy any more software, like soaps or balms or <laughs> aftershaves. I can still buy brushes and razors, right? Okay. But, um, and also, another one is to finish a tub of soap. <sighs> That's not likely to happen, is it? Yeah, look at that now. Absolutely covered in suds. I'm just taking what's left from the tub here, of which there is lots. Another layer of pre-shave. This is a nice scent. Yeah, you can smell the bay now coming out. Okay, let's uh, see how this brush does. 
Wow, my goodness, that is soft. That is very soft. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a silver tip. I'm just dipping the tips there. Well, it's a great size, as I say, it's, uh, I think it's 24 millimetres. Uh, some badger brushes you get are 26 and 30 millimetres and they just, they just cover your face, but this is nice. Very, very soft tips. Yeah, very soft for a first use. Sometimes with the uh, natural hair brushes you have to break them in. And they take a, a few shaves just to you know, soften the bristles and stuff. And but this is soft from the word go. Very nice. Just dipping the tips again. I'm really impressed with this brush. And again, quite a thirsty soap, these. Phoenix and Woe soaps. That is nice. Great lather. Feels okay, very smooth, no issues at all. Yeah, I think um, when I was chatting to Stevie about, uh, he was uh, telling me about this razor and he tried different blades. It might be that you uh, um, actually need a, a sharper blade because it feels very smooth. It's not uh, giving me a rough shave at the moment anyway. A very light touch. Yeah, and there is a, uh, there is overhang on this, let me see it there, a little bit at each side. But the blades, very central, which is good. And again, just a very light touch. Nice slickness on this soap. It's a. Uh, it's easy to find the angle.
Yeah, easy to find the angle on this. It's uh, quite intuitive. Let's just see if that soap is slick. Yeah, very good. Very slick. Okay, let me rinse. I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, back for the second pass. This uh, beautiful brush. From Frank's shaving. Yeah, I've seen um, I've seen a few videos on YouTube. People using these. I think it's um, is it Randy from Polar Shaving? He uses the, a lot of these brushes, but um, of course they don't only do brushes. I think at Frank's shaving. I think it's uh, um, all different shaving gear. I'll put the link to the website and you can check it out for yourself. Quite reasonable prices too. This is a very soft brush. How are your shaves going? Good? Good. Well, uh, what are you using that you got new for Christmas? Really? Nice. <laughs> Talking into it. Nice. Really? All right. Yeah. And how is he getting on? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, no. He didn't get jailed, did he? Oh, no. That's terrible. Oh, drunk was he? All right. Pissing in the street. Sad. <laughs> right, okay. You thought the madness had gone with 2018. No, it's still here with 2019. Okay, second pass across the growth of the hair. <laughs> I don't know why I done that there, but... Yeah, this is a... This is a nice razor, actually. It's uh, the knurling on it, it isn't that deep as you can maybe see. So uh, it only goes halfway down the handle. It's not great, it's okay uh, if you don't have soap on your hand. It feels okay, it's not the best grip, but uh, it feels nice to hold. It shouldn't slip uh, out your hand if you don't have any. So, on your finger, on your finger, on your finger, on your fingers, that is. Yeah, you can feel the blade, uh, but it feels very smooth. It's not like a, you can feel the blade. R41 aggressive, you can feel the blade. Um, it just feels very smooth. Yeah, there's a couple of little dots where I've probably overshaved. Okay, second pass, very nice. Okay, let me rinse and come back for pass number three. Three. Okay, 
back for third pass. I'll just uh, take what's left in this tub. Go back to this brush. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a badger smell, but nothing to what some brushes have. Uh, and as I say, I thought I seen a hair there. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this brush will get better. The more you use it, the more it kind of breaks in and the hairs will become softer and uh, sometimes with new badger brushes the, the bristles kind of suck up all the lather but um, this seems to be releasing it quite well. Fine marvel against the growth. Nice feedback from the razor. Again, a very light touch. Yeah, there's a few little dots here, but um, Yeah, a couple little dots. I'll, uh, I think I'll use the Allen block in this shave just to see um, if there's much feedback from this this razor with the feather with the 0.95 blade gap, which is quite quite a quite a big gap, but it certainly doesn't feel that way to me, especially with a feather blade. Three passes done, let's have a little feel. Feels good, just a little bit there. There. Yeah, just the usual spots. I thought with it being a, a new year, these uh, little trouble spots might have gone for the pickups, but no, no, they're still hanging about. Yeah. 
Okay, let me just rinse with some cold water, then I'll get the Allen block and we'll come back and we'll put some. That's the international sign for Allen block. Okay, we'll be back soon. Okay, face is wet. Let's uh, get the Allen block. Well, it's not a block, it's, a, it's like a stick. And uh, we'll just go to town. Yeah, there's a little bit here, just uh, where these little dots are. And a little bit here. Nothing around the moustache. Nothing up here. Nothing down here. Pretty good, not bad. Okay, uh, what I'll do is, I'll let this sit for a couple of minutes. I'm not going to have a face wash. Uh, there's hardly anything left in this brush. So uh, what I'll do is, I'll just rinse this off and we'll come back for the post shave. So I will see you in a moment or two. There we have it. Nice shave, not much slickness there because of the alum. <laughs> but, um, yeah, feels good, feels good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do things kind of back to front just now. Uh, I, I've seen this upstairs in the den, and I thought, where's that been? I've never used that for ages and ages and ages. So it's uh, this L'Oreal Men Expert with Hydra Power, refreshing post-shave splash anti-discomfort uh, mountain water. It says, powered by mountain water. 24 hour hydration supply, prevents skin from drying out throughout the day, soothes burning and irritation that may be caused by shaving, ultra refreshing lotion instantly transforms into cooling water upon application. Powerful soothing active ingredient which helps reinforce skin's natural resist resist resistance against daily aggressions. So, uh, yeah. So it comes out like a gel, but then when you kind of once you start rubbing it, look, it kind of turns into a like a liquid, like water. So we'll give this a go. It has just a, a kind of like a Nivea esque sort of scent. Yeah, probably taking too much. But once you rub it in, yeah, it does just kind of go like water. As you can probably see on my skin. It uh, looks wet. But it's not a balm as such, and it's not an aftershave, so... But, I am still going to use an aftershave. But I just thought I'd put that on first because it turns to water. I didn't want the aftershave to kind of all get mixed up with that. Although it will because I'm putting it on now. Shut up, Kevin, and get on with it. Thank you. Um, yeah, aftershave, Old Spice. This is the US version in the plastic bottle. Uh, so let's have a glug of that. There's a tiny little bit of sting, but Probably because I put that stuff on first. Um, but that should. Just leave a nice scent. There we have it. The first shave on camera of 2019. Pretty good. Pretty close, feels pretty good. No irritation. Very nice, I'm happy. Okay, quick recap, what we've used. Uh, the brush, beautiful. Uh, Frank shaving, look at this. When I was uh, rinsing it out, it does, it has the uh, gel tips. When you wet this, the, the tips of the brush go like kind of, it feels like a gel almost on them, They're very soft. Still does have a little bit of smell, but I'll get rid of that, I'll lather up some soaps uh, in this and just leave them overnight but a nice brush performed really well i like it uh good size it's not too big or not 
I think it's 24 millimeters. Nice handle. Yeah, I'll put the links. You can check them out. Really impressed with that. The soap. Oh, we started the shave way back with the uh, Nuage Men shaving oil pre shave, lavender scented. Uh, the soap was Phoenix and Bow Imperial Rum, Bay Spice and Lime. Very nice soap. There it is there, all cleaned out. I just leave it upside down like that. Well, I put the lid like that, so it's kind of an angle. Just let it air dry for a day or two, and then screw the lid back on. It goes back in the in the den. Uh, the razor was the fine marvel. Yeah, I thought this was great. I really like this razor. It's um, it doesn't feel too aggressive for me. It feels very smooth, really nice. Had a brand new feather blade in there. Uh, there's the wrapper for that. Yeah, uh, I'll give it another couple of goes and then I will hand it back to, to Steve and I'll give him my thoughts. But it could be you need a sharper blade, but a very light touch is needed because that blade gap is quite big. Stormtroopers. But a nice razor, I like it. Uh, we rinsed off, put some cold water on, applied the alum. There it is. This, this is the alum I use. Alum de Rocca Natural. This is a, a, in a little, like a deodorant stick. But it's very good. I, li I just like the shape of it and it has this little bit at the bottom. Just makes it easy to apply. Um, then we applied some of the L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Power Refreshing Post Shave Splash Anti Discomfort Mountain Water. Yeah, quite good stuff. Um, yeah, it was okay. My skin doesn't feel dried out or anything like that. Uh, and then finished it off with Old Spice. This is the US version. Uh, with a plastic bottle. And there we have it ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for all the comments. I think I'm up to date with all the comments, I've answered them all or I've pressed the heart button to mean I've read it. Uh, yeah, looking forward to this year. Um, I was speaking earlier on in the shave about uh, the, the blade feel and stuff in this razor um, and I, I was saying it's not R41 blade feel. I, if you look back at my previous videos, um, the shaves I had with the R41 were always quite rough and uh, I actually sold my R41 because I just wasn't getting along with it. But what do you think I've bought <laughs> since? To try it again, yes, an R41. So I've bought another one uh, just to see if obviously my techniques improved, maybe a little bit, uh, because when I first used it, I was quite inexperienced shaving and uh, my skin wasn't as used to shaving as it was. It was back in the early days. <laughs> Way back in the early days. Oh, I remember when I was a lad, oh, I used to shave with the R41. I used to slice my... Oh, but not now. <laughs> well, maybe now. Uh, so I'm just waiting on, waiting on it again here in the, in the mail. Uh, but when it does come, I'll use it and... Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out again, just to, just to see. I'm, I'm more curious than anything, um, it, and if it doesn't work again, I'll just I'll move it on, or I'll pitch it to someone, or something like that. But anyway, that's the story of the R41. I told you this video would go on for quite a while. Okay, uh, enjoy your weekends. What's left of it? Uh, this is Saturday here, so have a lovely time. Spend it with loved ones and uh, enjoy your shaves. And I'll see you next time. Take care.